Hey, how's it going? I'm Kyle Brown with Clawhammer Supply, and today uh, we're going to talk to you about uh, Clawhammer's brand new eight gallon stainless steel distiller. If you're familiar with the Clawhammer uh, lineup, you probably already know that uh, the stills we currently offer, the copper stills, um, are kits, meaning you buy the kit, we send you the parts, you have to build everything. We are super excited to announce our brand new stainless pre-built distiller. Uh, so this product that I'm going to talk to you uh, talk about to you today is a pre-built unit. Um, so we're really excited about this. So what I want to do in this video is um, just give you an overview of the still, talk about what comes with the uh, our base model, and then um, talk a little bit about how it gets assembled uh, by the user and, uh, and again light assembly by the user and then talk about some of the add-ons you can put on the still. So let's start with the boiler. Um, I guess first of all uh, the entire thing top to bottom is food grade high quality uh, 304 stainless steel um, solid construction and um, we're, we're really excited to be able to offer that uh, to our customers. So we've got an eight gallon boiler here and um, you know what I think I want to do first here is just kind of show you how this thing um, comes together. So there is some light assembly required um, but uh, nothing nothing that I'm sure y'all won't be able to handle. So I'm going to go ahead and take the domed fitting that actually is eventually going to go on top of this boiler here. I'm going to take this column piece and what I'm doing here is I'm actually just taking a uh, high temperature food grade silicone gasket. I'm placing it in between these two parts and then I'm just taking a tri clamp with a thumb screw on here and tightening it down and that's all it takes to get these things together. Next I'm going to take our inline condenser. I'm going to do the same thing. Put the silicone gasket between these two parts. Add the tri clamp and screw this thing together. And just like that, we have ourselves an, an assembled, we have ourselves an assembled column and condenser. What's really neat about this is that these stills obviously come apart. They're two different pieces, um, the two pieces I just put together here, they actually fit inside of the boiler uh, for easy storage. So once you have this together, you just pop the domed fitting on top of the still and it goes together like so with another clamp. In between, actually built into the bottom of this dome fitting, is a, another high temperature silicone gasket, also a food grit. Okay, so once you have that together, this is basically the this is the base the base model here. And um, what I want to do next here is talk about some of the fittings on uh, the unit. And I guess we'll start with the boiler. So I guess we'll start right here. So on every boiler, um, we'll include. A, an, uh, a one and a half inch ferrule which will come with a cap, a tri-clamp, and a silicone gasket. It's not going to have anything in it I guess other than the, uh, the cap and the gasket when you get it. However, we've included this fitting because we have sourced this awesome super heavy duty um, water heater element that can actually be used as the heating source for the still. So we'll do another video on how to assemble this but once you get it assembled it's as easy as popping a gasket um, in between these two parts and then just like we did with the uh, the other parts on the still we'll throw a tri clamp on here and uh, tighten this thing down and we have a built-in heating source here which is really cool so um, what we'll recommend actually and again I'm going to do another video about this but 
you'll be able to wire a plug right into this outlet. You can plug this, you probably wouldn't want to plug it directly into the wall because then the element would just be on um, high heat all the time and you want to be able to control your heat. You could plug this into a restat controller or um, an electronic controller box and uh, fine tune your temperature. So that's one of the options actually on the still. On the other side of the still here, we um, have built in a half inch NPT fitting. So with the still will come just a plug for this fitting. Like I said, there will be some light assembly. So, you know, stuff like this will be screwed in there, but we're gonna advise the, um, the purchaser to go ahead and wrap some thread tape around this and then just use a good pair of channel lock pliers to seal that in there. Okay, so that can just, uh, you know, sit there with the plug in it if you want. However, we're assuming that at least some people and perhaps a lot of you are gonna wanna install a thermometer somewhere in the boiler. That's what this fitting is for. So we sized this fitting, we've sized this fitting to, um, to fit our preferred stainless steel thermometer. And uh, again, this will be available as an optional add-on. Buy this thing, throw some thread tape on it, screw it in, tighten it down, and you have yourself a boiler thermometer. Here we go. All right, moving on to the, uh, the lid here. I think this is one of the features that we're most excited about. We've actually built two ports into the lid. First port is going to be for a five PSI safety pressure relief valve. Um, this will actually come standard with the still, the five PSI pressure relief valve. Again, throw some, throw some thread tape on that, screw it in, tighten it down. You now have a safety release valve built into the still. Under normal operating conditions, you'll see, ideally, depending on how you have the still set up, um, zero pressure in the boiler. You add some bubble plates and other things in the column, you'll see a tiny little bit of pressure build up. What this is for is not for regulating that pressure. This is actually for regulating a dangerous uh, amount of pressure buildup that is unplanned for. For example, you distill on the grain, which we do, do not recommend, and some of that grain bubbles up into the column and blocks it, okay? At, at five PSI, this thing should blow. Um, your outlet hose gets clamped or something obstructs the discharge arm here. Um, you get a pressure buildup at five PSI this thing will pop, release the pressure, and um, you're safe again. Hopefully you're distilling outside or in a well-ventilated, mechanically ventilated space, um, to, and, and you have a plan to deal with this vapor, um, but better, better to have uh, some vapor to deal with and plan ahead for that than to have a dangerous pressure buildup in the still uh, which could lead to a possible explosion. For that very reason, we decided to include a five PSI safety pressure relief valve with every still. So this comes, when you buy the, the base model still, this comes with it, all right? We've also designed in another port on the domed lid here for a um, pressure gauge. So these are custom pressure gauges made for us. They're professional uh, series, professional quality gauges. Wrap some Teflon tape around here, screw this in, tighten it down, and you've got yourself a pressure gauge. This will allow you to keep an eye on the pressure in the boiler at all times so you can head off a problem before this thing needs to pop. Um, if that should ever happen, hopefully it won't. Um, this is an optional um, add-on for the still. Okay, so moving on here, uh, I've already mentioned that these two come apart and fit into the boiler. Um, the other things I should mention here are that the condenser has uh, 5 8 inch barbed fittings built into it. These are sized for garden hose. So you'll need some sort of a water supply uh, to cool down your vapor to turn it into actual liquid distillate. Uh, easiest way to do that is just to add a garden hose and plumb it in here, plumb it out there, trickle a small amount through there and that should be plenty enough to cool your vapor down. Uh, if you are concerned about water use, these things don't actually take a whole lot of water. 
Um, but if you're being ultra conservative and you want to conserve your water, uh, you could also hook this up uh, to a small pump and pull some water from a pond or a river or a stream. In the winter time, you can actually freeze big uh, Tupperware containers full of water, sit them outside, fill them with water, sit them outside, let them freeze, and then circulate the ice water through here. That works out very well um, as well. And then on the bottom of this thing, we have another barb fitting, which we've um, built in for this heavy duty uh, silicone discharge hose that we've sourced. So this stuff is ultra high temperature. It's very, very thick as well. We, we source this because we don't like the idea of flimsy hose, you know, potentially bending and kinking and whatnot. And um, we've sourced this hose, which we're really happy with. Um, this will be available for purchase on our website as well. Um, this is just a little short piece to show you give you an idea of how thick it is and how it fits on here. Um, you'll be able to buy this in lengths of six feet or so. And you can find that on our website. Okay, as I mentioned, um, we've included a boiler thermometer. We also have an option for a column thermometer. So some people like to use boiler temperature to manage um, the operation of the still. Some people like to use column temperature. So we built in an option for both. How we're going to include that is um, we're going to add this to the site as an, as an optional add-on. It is basically just an adapter that fits onto the existing column. So you pop it on there like that. And then we'll go ahead and pop the condenser on top of this. Hopefully we're not out of the frame at this point. So we'll pop the condenser back on here and I'll pull this down in case it's out of the frame once we're done. Okay. All right. So this adapter will be available for purchase with the thermometer. Um, just like I've done here, you pop this on top of the column between the column and the condenser, wrap some thread tape on the thermometer, screw that in, tighten it down, and you now have yourself a column thermometer as well. And I'll go ahead and take this down so you can take a look at this just to make, just in case it's out of the frame. All right, there we go. So we're really excited to offer this product to everybody. Um, we've been working on sourcing this stuff for a really long time. We've put a lot of thought into um, the, the features we've added, um, the add-ons that we've made available. We've actually uh, talked to a lot of customers over the last couple years and really value the feedback we've gotten from everybody. And we really tried to do our best to use that feedback to design the best possible uh, pre-built stainless unit we could we could come up with so check this out on our website I'll put a link in the video um, if you like one they're available for purchase now if you want to comment or shoot us any questions we're always available um, you can comment on this video of course the better way to reach us would just be to give us a phone call um, or send us an email that contact information is available on our site so thanks for watching talk to you soon